So the business started out here, Jake, doing plants and stuff, is that yeah, right? Yeah, so just, just plants and um, fruit and veg as well. We've done, we've done that in like, um, like 1985 sort of yeah. time. And my grand, my granddad bought it, and it was like, say, it was just a house in a, in a building, and then he started selling like just off the floor plants and whatever. Then, um, like, say, over the years, we've just kind of kept doing bits and developing it, really. Yeah. Yeah. So you prepare all your flower boxes there. Yeah. And stuff. So uh, we do hanging baskets, bedding plants, basket plants, perennials, um, right across the board, really compost and stuff like that. What people, yeah, what people tend to want. Can you keep that going 12 months of the year then? Or is no, it a bit a bit, this, this is time? a very, very short season really. This yeah. only lasts for maybe two and a half, three months at the most. Right. Um, so this is very, so then the, 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 the first tunnel that will come through, we'll turn that into a, another seating area for in the summer, uh, in the winter, sorry, we'll put heaters in there, in the, somewhere for people to come with the dogs. Yeah, um, very good. So when the people were coming then, say back in 1985, then you just saw, look, there's an opportunity here to yeah, upset so, a bit more. Or, yeah, like I say, we just kind of kept, um, I think my granddad was a bit of a type where he would, he would give anything a go type of thing and we've kind of just tried to yeah. keep that going really. It's, the market um, is telling you what they want and what they don't want I guess yeah. and you're responding to that. Exactly, yeah. Um, and I see we always try and work to do things the best we can and give people the best stuff type of thing rather yeah. than choosing the, the lesser options. And consistency is something you said is yeah. a big part of it, big, haven't it? Yeah, I, keeping, it, keeping it consistent and keeping it going um, is, is something that we're Mm. We're really trying to do, yeah. Yeah. So you have a veg as well, you were saying you had a yeah. veg shop? Yeah, so we sell the fruit and veg. To, to, uh, to, so you get it fresh in every morning. Um, and like, so you let people pick their own and see what they buy. You know, and, um, rather than just doing stuff in packets and pre-packed yeah. type of thing, we try and do it as fresh and as local as possible. It's a different feel compared to the supermarket. It's yeah more authentic or whatever yeah exactly yeah, yeah. totally different yeah um, so potatoes are out new yeah. season potatoes yeah how uh, far do they come from or yeah uh, them ones are coming from lincolnshire at the minute i think yeah. coming down from yeah coming from lincolnshire at the minute so and like this is something you can keep going 12 months a year yeah then. so this is just whatever seasonal be, yeah this tends to tend to keep going all year <laughs> around and like say to build up to to christmas when we're busy in all the other departments as well this this is quite busy as well with the yeah. Christmas dinners and things like that. Yeah. What's in the fridge here? So cheese, well that, that comes from um, Cheshire. Um, so different flavoured cheeses and um, that, that tends to be quite popular, people. Yeah. Like all the different flavours. Yeah. So you've a butcher shop? Yeah. Uh, this has been open for 11 years now, I think. Yeah. Um, all the all the lamin. Is this what it was like before? Here? Yeah, so that's I think that's what it was like when we first when we first bought, when we first got it. Yeah. Um, so it's changed a bit since Big then. Big changes. Yeah. Um, so you're producing a lot of the meat here yourself. Yeah, everything's the everything's processed ourselves, and all comes. Um, like the beef comes back in quarters, and the lambs come back whole, and we we cut it all up ourselves and mm. pro like do it all ourselves. Um, again, as local as possible. I can say most yeah. of it's our own, and then anything that we can't have ourselves, we tend to source it as local as possible. Yeah, good. So milk anyway, obviously you're you're selling now your own milk here. Yeah. So it's vending machines is your main method, is it? Yeah, vending machines, and then we have the the um, syrup dispensers for the milkshake, which have been very popular. And um, we have six flavors, four of them being constant flavors, and the other two being flavors that we change every every two weeks, which you get people coming on the on the day of the two weeks. What's next? Um, so, yeah, yeah, very popular. Um, so, so say people put the bottle in, put the bottle in themselves, um, press the button either milk or milkshake, and like, see they can watch it fill up, and the, it's, it's good for the kids and the adults seem to enjoy it pretty much as well. So you've your own milk bottle. Yeah, and it's branded nicely branded. Yeah, so we've got a, our own bottle, and we've done a, the first batch we've done was um, like the first edition type of thing. Um, so yeah, put your bottle in, press the button. So it's pasteurised milk? Pasteurised milk, yeah. yeah, that's all it's had done, just pasteurised, it hasn't been yeah. touched in any other way, so it's still got the cream and everything else with it. Yeah. 
And what temperature is it kept at? Four, four degrees. Yeah. And the machine, after after every ten bottles of milk, does a steam clean, um, so it cleans the cleans all the the pipes and everything out and keeps it fresh. Okay. Um, so what are you charging for the the liter of milk then, typically? So we're charging one fifty for the liter of milk and two fifty for a milkshake. Yeah. Um, so I might say people seem pretty happy with it once once they've tried it and tasted it. They tend to see yeah. the difference compared to. <laughs> compared to the shop type of thing. Um, and I suppose it's, it's the benefit of being able to sell direct to the market yeah. is the extra margin, yeah. obviously the extra cost, but. Yeah, but overall it's, <coughs> it seems to make sense, but it's, it's come six miles as well, that's the, yeah. so from coming from the cow to here, it's, it's come six miles and that's yes. all. Um, which you can see is a big, a big thing what we try and do. Yeah. Um, so. so you've contactless payment in as well, that yeah, option? Yeah, so contactless um, on, it, on both the machines. So each machine holds two 200 litre churns. Um, so the machines themselves are refrigerated, what keeps the keeps mm. the tank cold. Mm. Um, There's a lot of gear in that, like. Aye. Um, and then one, once once one runs out, it just automatically swatch, switches over onto the next. Yes. Onto the next tank type of thing. So we've got like the capability of holding like 800 litres of milk at the minute. Um, and on a busy day, you can fairly get through it. Um, I suppose you have a TV screen then of your farm. Yeah, so that's the whole giving, story behind that. Giving people the story of how it started, the cows coming over and the idea of how, uh, how we do things. Yeah, that connection is important to you. Yeah, I very, suppose in very, educating the, or making the consumer aware of where it's coming yeah, from. Yeah, very important. Like we, want to, we want people to see like what we're doing and how it's produced and it doesn't just turn up on a morning and um, it takes obviously, as you, as you know, a lot of work and whatever to get it to this stage and yeah. see what we want people to see and enjoy it really. Yeah. So I suppose in time you might you might diversify your the brand further and give cheap or you know your ice creams. Yeah, so creams, like say that, whatever that's, like that. That's the that's the plan for the for the next maybe the next five year plan is to, to maybe look at doing that sort of thing going into the, the ice cream and the the butter and, and things like that and, and cheese and try and do as much of it ourselves. What's a key challenge with something like this? Is it is it keeping things consistent, or is it having a population around you that's yeah, like say we're, we're lucky we're we're in an area where we do have quite a quite a good footfall of people coming coming and going and passing type of thing. But it's um, see it's just keeping everything keeping everything running, keeping everything clean, tidy, and just keeping it keeping it going. But as long as you start off with decentish standard, it's just a case of keeping it there as opposed to yeah having to try and build it up to that type of thing. So that's what we try and do. We just try and do things right from the start and then keep yeah. it there, basically. And I don't think you're, you're not afraid to try something new as well if there's... No, that's it. You never you never yeah. know until you try. Yeah. So we've kind of just had the attitude that, obviously, we do our sums and, and work things out to make sure it is going to at least cover itself. But on the hope that when we do things, it's going to do more than that type of thing. So so how many people are employed here? Uh, we've got just over 60. Right. Just over 60 employed. Yeah. Um, it's great employment. Yeah, so obviously again for the area it's good. It's a lot of a lot of people that just live in like the local village pension and roundabout. Um, so it's and you're open seven days a week. Seven days a week. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nine to five, nine to four every day. Yeah. So so a big part of your business, I suppose, is the restaurant then as well. Yeah, the, t the, tea, the tea room rooms. keeps us um, keeps us busy as well. As we're passing, I suppose we're just seeing your farm shop. It's your your wall here, your explanation. Yeah, so that's just giving people a, a bit of an idea of what we do. Like I say, that was done before we went into the dairy side of it, but that yeah. just gives people an idea of what we're doing. And I suppose the monument on the top, that's historical to the area. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of history behind that. Yeah, and like I say, obviously we kind of named it after, named it after, named here after that type of thing. To, yeah. To do, like I say, it's a, it, the location that we're in with the bin directly below it, obviously that makes a big difference to us yeah. as well, so. That's good. Yeah. So the tea rooms are open seven days a week Yes, as well. that's open seven days a week. Yeah. Um, it's, and it's, it tends to be the busiest out in the mall. It's okay. get to about half 10, 11 o'clock and it'll be Heaving. a queue out the door type of okay. thing. It's um, a great sign. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. good, very good. You wouldn't be long knowing if there was a problem with the food, I suppose, and 
Yeah. A few regular clientele people. Yeah. Rewarding with their feet. Yeah, exactly. So I'd say the biggest thing for us is consistency, keeping it nice, keeping keeping people coming back. Really, that's the yeah. That's yeah. our biggest thing. So. So cakes as well. The bakery are here, yeah. is there? Over there now. So how, say, in what stage did the bakery turn up or? Say again, sorry? The, the bakery, when did you start doing the bakery? Uh, so it's been open for four years, I think now. Okay. Um, so what motivated is, you to do this? Um, it's, like I say, it's my cousin really. She she does the tea room side and does the this side of it. And she just kind of thought it would be a, a good add on that would that would make a, another big difference to it. Um, yeah. So this this was actually in my uncle's living room. So the upstairs area is converted into a flat now. Um, so he sacrificed his living room to, to okay. put a bakery in. So yeah. Um, let's see, we'll have a look in. Yeah, some really nice uh, creations here. Yeah, so we do like all our own bread, um, sourdoughs, um, cakes, pies, quiches. Everything's done. Everything's done. And here. everything's made back here. Yeah. yeah. So we have like bakers that start at three o'clock in the morning and then right till five o'clock. Yeah, it's a long day. So yeah. No, that's good. Jamie, take the whole shop. <laughs> so. You won't know where to start. <laughs> so I'd say it's just a good addition to what we're to what we're already doing type of thing. It all just works. Yeah, it's a compliment in everything. Everything just yeah. works hand in hand in hand type of thing. Yeah. So Jake, you were saying the, the Peach Melba, why is that such a big attraction? I think it's just the size of it, I think. I okay. don't think you can go, there's many places you can go and get a Peach Melba that size. It takes a bit of tackling, so. Okay. Um, it's the same with all of them, to be honest. They're all. Plenty of uh, calories. Yeah, I've, I've tried them all to make sure they're all all right and <laughs> they all uh, pass the test. Yeah. Okay, so is it a cream or what? Is it. It's a kind of a biscuit base, is it? Or yeah, what? so bis biscuit base, which we make ourselves, um, and then a layer of peaches, a, a mountain of cream, and then. Fondant on the outside, and yeah. that's it. Goes down the tree. Yeah. No. Jamie will have to try one of them there in a minute. Yeah. All right. He's our <laughs> tasting uh, <laughs> expert. So, do you make cakes here? Uh, yeah. Bespoke as well for people, or? Yeah. So, if people have a special occasion coming up or whatever, they, if, if uh, depending on the workload, they can they can order it as long as it's plenty in advance. Yeah. 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 Great. So, we like to say we tend to try and keep a lot of stuff ready anyway, but um, like I say, if people do want. <laughs> People tend to order the, the pies and stuff as well. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's, uh, but the amount, we, the amount that we do with them anyway, it's, we normally do quite a lot on a day to day yeah. basis anyway to keep yeah. up demand. So In a small space, you've got a pile in here. Yeah. 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 No. I suppose it's been a real education here to see. Uh, yeah, like I say, from what I can remember from being little to, to mm. what it is now, it's <laughs> changed, changed a lot. So yeah. It's been. And it's not going to stop here, I suppose. It's no, no. Just, like I say, keep, keep going. 